Okay, so hi YouTube. So today we might be talking about something that is a bit hard to hear and a bit hard to grasp, but we're going to talk about it anyway because I feel like it will bring us some encouragement, you know, because it at the end of everything, it did bring me a lot of encouragement. So let's just take a step to talk, let's just take a minute to talk about my life. So I can be quite an anxious person and quite a nervous person. So even stuff like being in big groups and big groups of people, it really does bring me anxiety. And since I've been a Christian, that has really held me back. So when it comes to just talking or feeling like, oh rats, I could have shared the gospel there, or I could have shared the gospel there, you know, sometimes I have held back and sometimes I have fought through that anxiety to get the job done. Um, but like a couple months ago, I had quite a depressing experience. So me and my wife, we've actually moved from London to America. So I moved away from all of my friends and kind of everyone that I knew for quite a while, but I've been keeping in contact with them, like via message when I can. Um, and it's been great. It's been a great experience in America. I'm so happy that I actually came here. Um, and I'm so happy to see where life's going to take me next. But like a few months ago, I get a text and it's from a friend. And it's basically letting me know that one of my longest friends, you know, I've known this person for 20 years and, you know, we grew up together, like literally, like, and basically he passed away and he actually committed suicide as well, which is really, really sad, really, really troubling to hear. And what happened like a few months ago, I was just in such a dark place. Like I've always had joy in my life. Like I've always had joy. Like since as soon as I became Christian, I found out what joy meant, you know, Happiness is just when you get an item, it brings you happiness for a certain period of time and then it goes dull. Joy is like a continuous thing. Like no matter what happens in your life, you always have joy. But when I heard that news, it really broke me inside. You know, the joy that I had of becoming a Christian, like really, you know, it was broken and I could feel it and I went down into a deep dark place just thinking about why he did it like why he did it and my other friend I know him for about the same amount of time I spoke to him and we were speaking back and forth because obviously we weren't like too good about the situation but he said that um, pretty much because my friend he died an atheist so he said that he looked that basically he looked into this world and he saw nothing there you know he'd rather nothing than live in this world still and what troubles me the most is since becoming a christian i actually never shared the gospel with him i never like spoke to him not once and it was because of my anxiety and because of like you know i know that he's an old friend he knows my past self like, what is he going to think of me now? Like, becoming a Christian. Like, all these thoughts going through my head and all of that stopped me from talking to him and actually spreading the message. So now it's like, who knows where his soul actually is? And, you know, I'd like you to pray for me and I'd like to you guys to pray that you never know on his deathbed, he could have actually come to Jesus. I'm not going to um, take that away from him, that that could have happened. But at the same time, you know, it's the fact that I didn't talk to him. It's just really troubling. And it brought me to a deep and dark place that I could not get out of. Like, I just felt like I couldn't get out of it. But you know what actually got me out of that place is listening. Like, oh, like God had put that tribulation there for a reason. He had put that in my life to encourage me. You know, it's like through our tribulations sometimes we can gain passion and you know what like after a while i couldn't find a way out but as soon as i started looking towards the word as soon as i started to hear god's voice in my life and god really did drag me out of that place 
and while he was telling me to make this YouTube channel I had it in mind for quite a while but after hearing the news it really just put me off and I didn't want to do anything I didn't want to read my Bible I didn't want to like do anything but after a while I started to hear that voice and I started to hear God's voice if you've ever been in a place that I've been in you can get out of there you know um, that is why I'm making this video is to show that like I didn't have the like courage or I was not in a good place at all to start this YouTube channel but you know what when that still small voice came up for once I actually decided to listen to it and this is the thing you're not gonna know when that's gonna happen you know because you feel that nothing you do can actually like work nothing you do is gonna bring you out of this place but one day you're gonna actually do what God is telling you to do so really creating this YouTube channel at the first point that I made this YouTube channel I I was still lost you know I was still there in the darkness depressed couldn't find a way out but I decided to just do what God was telling me to do regardless and to be honest I haven't gotten out of that place completely but just making that first video like all I've done since I made the first video is read all I've done is pray all I've done is watch great videos on YouTube with other um, Christians on there and it really has brought me out of that place you know and it can bring you out of that place too because you know sometimes just listening to God listening to God's still small voice and just going forth and doing exactly what he's telling you to do that could bring you to a place where you can't see at the time but you will see it after you've actually done it so I hope this can encourage you to try whatever God is telling you to do like don't look in your own flesh to try and sort out the anxiety or the depression look to the word look to God and here I have a verse for you and it's in Romans chapter 5 verses 3 to 5 and it says and not only so but we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulation work of patience and patience experience and experience hope and hope maketh not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us and this verse is actually one of my favorite verses and whenever you're feeling down and whenever you're feeling like you can't get out just know that God is using that tribulation to build you up and make you stronger because look at what's happened now like um, I'm here and I'm making these YouTube videos so take that away with you and I thank you for watching this video I hope it encouraged you click on that subscribe button and remember to comment you know comment down below um, show some encouragement pray um, and catch me on the next video and I hope we can find and explore our unknown years